Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some of our top activities we use when we fly with a toddler. So a lot of the times, actually, Every single time I've been on the plane, it's just been me and Scarlett. My husband works a lot and is unable to get off work a lot. And if you guys are new to my channel, I don't have any family in Arizona where I live, so we travel back to see my family in the Midwest with my daughter quite a bit. So when I travel, I don't have any help. It's just me and my baby, and she may be off and on my lap throughout this video. We're just gonna roll with it. If you guys are new to my channel, we would love to have you subscribe. I share a lot of motherhood related content. I do cleaning videos. I do a lot of daily vlogs. So if you guys like that kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hey, I don't want to eat your cracker. You eat it. So Scarlett's been on four planes, no, five planes since she's been a toddler. She's been on a total of 16 or 17, I believe, total throughout her life. So we have traveled quite a bit, but it didn't become challenging until she became a toddler. Also, I just want to say that if you guys are lucky enough to have a magical unicorn baby who sleeps throughout plane rides, I am so jealous because this girl will not sleep at all, or very rarely, so I have to continuously think of things to keep her entertained. As you guys can see, she's very active. She doesn't really like to be held. She doesn't like to sit on my lap. She likes to be down, so it's very critical to me to be prepared when I travel with her and just to think of the most random ideas that's going to help keep her occupied throughout our plane ride. Typically, we fly about two and a half hours, but sometimes it can be as much as a five-hour travel day, so it just depends on what's going on on our trip. Also, just going to throw a disclaimer out there, not all of the activities I'm showing you today are environmentally friendly. I'm simply just doing what keeps my daughter entertained on the airplane and what keeps me sane. So all of these activities that I'm going to share with you guys today, use them at your own judgment. Okay, so basically this is my bag full of goodies. It does not look as neat as it did when we got there because we did just get back yesterday, so we used all this stuff. So keep in mind, a lot of these things are super weird, but the weirder the better in my opinion because that's what keeps them entertained. So the very first thing is I got this Paw Patrol cup that had Q-tips filled in with it. Um, I bought this at the dollar store. You guys do not need to spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. What I did is I took out probably three-fourths of the Q-tips and then just took them home with me. What Scarlett likes to do is she likes to take things out and put them in. It keeps her entertained and she loved this. This was a huge win for us. Okay, so the next item is by Melissa and Doug. I bought this at Target and I love this. This has been a great idea for us. So basically what it is, is there is, this is what it looks like, but there is a pen inside here you fill with water and they can paint on the plane without making a mess. So all you do, look at that. See, how cool is that? These are great activities for the car or the plane, but this was another huge hit for us, so we got that. So the next thing that I brought with us was a pack of tissue paper because she likes to pull things out and rip them apart, and I don't know, it seemed like a great idea. It did work, but it wasn't near as successful as some of the other things, so it just made more of a mess that I had to pick up because I don't like to leave messes like that. But yeah, this was another idea, so something that you guys could try as well. Okay, this is probably my number one thing that I would recommend when traveling because it's such a good idea and it was so helpful. It is a Cheerio necklace and if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, basically you just take some ribbon, like ribbon you wrap a present with and I strung on a bunch of Cheerios and when we got to a time when she was getting fussy, I pulled out this Cheerio necklace and she was amazed. It was so cool. She was just holding it around her neck, eating the Cheerios off. It was amazing. I can't explain how important that was to have on our trip. We had one for our last trip. We had one going there and we had one going back. Going there, we used regular Cheerios. On the way coming back, we used Honey Nut Cheerios, which I would not recommend. We did not recommend the Honey Nut Cheerios because they were sticky. It was just kind of more of a mess than I wanted to, to deal with. So I would recommend sticking with regular Cheerios. And yeah, it was amazing. Road trip or plane trip, or if you just want to entertain your child during the day, Huge hit. So the next thing that I'm going to recommend, and I don't know what they're called. You guys might know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna insert a picture here so you guys can see. But basically, there are those silicone stickers that I see a lot around the holidays. I don't have them because they got disgusting on the plane and we ended up throwing them away because they attract a lot of hair and stuff. But basically, they stick to the windows and they're like silicone material and they were amazing. We had a window seat, which I would recommend, especially with a toddler, that's a way to entertain them as well. Um, but I would recommend getting a window seat and then I would let her actually stand up in front of me and then she would take the, the silicone stickers and put them on the window and then 
take them off and put them on and she loved it. It was a huge win. So I would highly recommend that. I got those in the dollar store at Target and I'm gonna try to leave links as much as I can to everything down below so it's easy access to you guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna recommend is an iPad and this used to be amazing for us. However, she's just not near as interested in watching TV anymore as she used to be and it kind of sucks for us on the plane because I have to think of other ways to entertain her which sounds really bad but it's true. I kind of relied on the iPad when we travel because it really helps entertain her. I will say she probably spent about 15 minutes or so watching uh, Mickey Mouse because I downloaded Mickey Mouse under here. But what we really liked about the iPad is I have photos of my husband, her dad, my grandpa, her grandpa, her grandma. All of those pictures are on here so I would scroll through them and we'd look at them and she just thought it was so fun seeing Papa and Grandma. So the next item is kind of random again but this is a box of band-aids and she loved this. I bought these in the dollar section at Target. Basically, she liked taking them in and out. We opened one, we put it on her arm. She was thrilled, it was awesome. And they have like strawberries and bananas and stuff on them, I don't know. She thought they were cool and they were a huge hit. I brought a pack of sticky notes because she likes to do this through sticky notes. I don't know why, but she likes to do that. <laughs> it's so cute, she wants them now, so I'm gonna give them to her. But the sticky notes, they weren't the best activity, but they did pass about five minutes of our time, so throw in a pad of sticky notes, I don't know. Um, she ended up just ripping them all off and then it became a mess. So uh, we ended up putting them away, but that was another good option. This is a slinky, you guys. She loved the slinky. This is actually two slinkies that are tangled up into one because this is what happened when we were on the plane yesterday, but this is a huge hit. She loved the slinky. She liked just playing it with it on the tray. Uh, there was a point where she got a little crazy and started flinging it like this and it hit the lady next to us. <laughs> I felt so bad. So we put it away, but if you're careful with it, it was a great option. So something weird like that, I don't know. So we actually didn't have any of these at home. I just Amazon Prime them because she loves Legos and we're waiting on them to come in. But I bought a little pack of these at the dollar store and she loved these. Probably passed us about 25 minutes. She wants them right now, so I'm gonna give them to her. But she liked just taking them off and putting them back in. The Legos were a huge hit, so I would recommend bringing a few Legos with you guys and just putting them in a, like a plastic baggie or something, letting them play with them. Great, great option. So the last few things that I bought at the dollar store for her were these giant playing cards. Again, she likes taking them out, stick them back in the box. I don't know what it is, but it's very entertaining to her, so we played with these and they have Minnie Mouse on it, which she loves. And then I got these at the dollar store too. It's just like a foam puzzle and she likes looking at the animals on it. We didn't play with this that much, but it was good to have. That pretty much wraps up everything that we brought. Being prepared this time, it was much easier on myself. It can be a lot traveling by yourself, solo. It's a lot. I don't know how else to explain it until you're doing it. It is mentally exhausting. And so if you're able to prepare yourself as much as possible and prepare your baby as much as possible or your toddler as much as possible, it's gonna make things so much easier. I recommend finding the weirdest things that they don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are what's gonna keep them entertained. If there's a certain food that they like that they don't eat very often, bring it with them. All of the rules are off the table when I'm traveling solo with my toddler. If she wants to eat you know, extra Cheetos, I don't care because it's just one day and I just want to get through that trip with her as successful as possible. First of the point of this video, it was really just to give you ideas about different types of activities to use to entertain your toddler on the plane or whether you're traveling in the car, whatever. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us over on Snapchat and Instagram and we'll see you guys in our next video. And you say bye bye. Good job. You're getting good at that, girl.